Welcome to Tech Wizards Damaru. In this video, we are going to learn uh, how to delete Azure Data Factory. And uh, when you try to delete it, uh, you are getting some error. And uh, that is uh, fail to load resources of type integration runtime. Some resources may not be shown. Uh, and error says that uh, error operation fail cannot find a keyword. Okay, so that's uh, the error we are getting. But uh, the actual error is happening now because I have a customer CMK, customer manager key uh, created. And uh, then what I did, uh, I deleted the key vault. And uh, what happened? Uh, then uh, uh, the Azure Data Factory was using that key vault link uh, where uh, the key was saved. Now, when I try to delete the Azure Data Factory, I'm getting this uh, error. So let me show you what exactly is happening. So now uh, here is my portal and uh, in the portal if I will go to the Azure Data Factory Tech Brothers ADF Dev and uh, if I will go to the Open Azure Data Factory Studio when uh, I try to uh, load it uh, throw me error. Okay so once I refresh it it gave me this error fail to load resources of type integration runtimes some resources may not be shown error operation. Uh, fail cannot uh, find the uh, Azure Key Vault. Okay, that's the error I'm getting. And uh, when I will go back here and I try to delete the Azure Data Factory, uh, that's where I'm also getting the error. So I'm going to copy this name and just uh, try to delete and show you. So once I try to delete, uh, see deletion failed. And uh, if I go to the uh, logs here, it is in uh, there was an error while deleting your data factory. So if we go further into the logs and all that, you might see some more information. So here uh, it is saying that uh, internal error, you know. So it's, it's not really telling me a whole lot what exactly is happening, but I know what uh, what is going on because uh, uh, I have uh, deleted uh, the key vault and uh, then I was uh, using a uh, custom manage key, it's customer, sorry, customer manage key. That's what I was using. And uh, this is the URL this is using. Uh, so that's uh, I have deleted the key vault and then uh, uh, the key has been deleted as well. So every time I try to do something, it's not letting me delete the Azure Data Factory. Also, it's not uh, opening this one because it is uh, using uh, this uh, managed customer key. So to so solve this, so what I'm thinking, I'm going to go ahead and create the key vault first uh, and then uh, we will uh, try to create the key, update this key, and then uh, delete our Azure Data Factory after that. Or maybe if we want to use it, we keep using it. So I'm going to actually delete and recreate a new one for me. So here I'm in the portal again. I'm going to go to the key vault and I'm going to create a key vault here. So create in the same resource group. That's the name of the key vault. And uh, this key vault is already existing uh, in use because it has a soft delete enable. So you can restore and uh, honestly, I do not know how to restore uh, in case uh, uh, it has uh, you know um, been deleted so it might be uh, I try to find out learn how to do that but I'm gonna go ahead and create a new uh, key vault in this case and create a new key and update into the Azure data factory and delete that that's one way to go you know it's not gonna be problem so let's see if I can be successful in that so here um, I'm creating this uh, key vault and once it's done uh, then I will be creating key Okay, my key vault is ready and uh, then we are going to go to the keys uh, and uh, we will create uh, the key called the test ADF. Uh, so that's uh, the name of the key. Uh, you can probably key create another one um, or maybe just, I don't know, just leave the, actually keep the same one so you don't have to have uh, issues with that and uh, hit uh, create and uh, now your key is created. Uh, now what we have to do, we have to go to the access policies here and then uh, provide some uh, permissions. Uh, so we are going to go to the uh, key vault uh, policies here and uh, select uh, permissions such as get, list, wrap, unwrap. These are the four permissions that are needed. And then I'm going to select my principal. Here I'm going to select uh, tech brothers dash ADF dash dev, right? So that's my Azure Data Factory tech brothers. Okay. So that's uh, the data factory we're selecting and uh, we are going to add this. Uh, so hit save and we should be good now. The permissions are provided to it and uh, we are going to go back to our keys and uh, here in the key, I'm going to copy this uh, uh, URL. So I'm going to copy this uh, key identifier. I'm going to go back to my Azure data factory here and hit edit. And here I will select A and control V. So I will save the new key right there. So see right there, it is saying that identified operation for resource subscription uh, 
uh, this uh, data factory ADF failed uh, failed to perform resource operation bad request response uh, um, so that's uh, that was not the uh, founder so tech brothers MI okay so in this case if you guys notice that it is uh, I created actually managed uh, user identity so that's uh, that's what the problem is so I actually did not provide the um, permission to the Azure data factory to on this uh, key vault uh, I had this uh, created managed identity okay so that's where the problem exists so what I have to do I have to create this uh, managed identity now so I'm gonna copy this guy and uh, you can watch my previous video in which uh, I have uh, shown how to create uh, the manage uh, user uh, identity and how to use that in the Azure data factory for, as a user uh, sorry customer managed uh, customer manage key okay so that's what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna go to the manage identity again and create with exact name what we had done and uh, now what we are gonna do provide the name and uh, that's the name of my user assigned manage identity okay so I'm gonna go ahead and hit create it should be created now this is going to be created and uh, what I have to do once it's created I have to go to the key vault and uh, provide that uh, information there so now I may I created the managed uh, uh, user identity and uh, what I can do I can try to delete this uh, key uh, data factory so that's what I'm gonna do so once I try to delete it let's see if this just let me do it so go right there delete and uh, hit yes okay very good okay so we are all good here and now what we are gonna do uh, we are gonna try to delete our Azure data factory still we are getting the problem and uh, the problem is uh, we have that managed uh, identity and uh, everything there but uh, it's giving us the problems so the right way is uh, you always delete your data factory first and then uh, drop your uh, other resources but here uh, we are stuck in a situation uh, where uh, we deleted the key vault first and actually I had dropped uh, the managed uh, identity as well before so that's uh, where the problem is okay so I'm gonna go back here and uh, try to see how to restore the key vault manage deleted key vault okay so I'm gonna try to find uh, under my subscription uh, this there should be tech brothers key vault okay so yeah that's one I need to bring so I want to recover so if I recover that one so there was two things missing one user managed identity and second part was my key vault so I created a new one and tried to use it it didn't work so that's where I have to now I have uh, re restored the other one so I believe I should be fine now and uh, we are here and uh, we can call the key vault key vaults and uh, under the key vaults uh, this is the one okay and that's where we have our keys so remember there was a test ADF that is there and uh, we have, if we go further there that's the key so we brought this back and now we go to access policies and here is uh, that uh, this guy looks like this is the deleted one see this uh, this should be that managed one so I'm gonna go ahead and add this guy back up so I try to I'm gonna give key permissions get list unwrap wrap to the that managed user identity okay the one we just created so tech brothers am I I'm gonna find this guy and just add this to the key so this is not really fun honestly if you have the created this uh, uh, manage uh, user managed uh, identity and then you have a uh, added to the key vault and then provided the uh, use in the uh, your uh, in the uh, data factory customer managed key 
and uh, if you have deleted all the resources uh, and uh, what happened <laughs> there is a, a no sequence like oh let me delete the data factory first and then uh, delete the user manager entity and then delete the key vault that did not work because I, what i do i go right here and select everything and delete so in this case uh, azure should be smart like uh, hey i need to re delete this part first and then i need to delete this part or then i need to do this part manage entity after that but what it did, uh, it deleted all these guys and left the Azure Data Factory and, uh, and when I tried to delete Azure Data Factory, it started complaining about all that, hey, you have this uh, user managed identity that you use for the key vault and uh, you have the key there that you use uh, to encrypt uh, the data in uh, Azure Data Factory for a managed customer key. So this is uh, all messed up. So it's really, uh, I will suggest you in case you use these, always delete data factory first and then come back and uh, delete your managed identity uh, second. And then at the end, uh, you will delete the key vault. So let's see, now we have put the things uh, in place. We have this with the same name of managed uh, user manager identity. We have same key vault we restored, and then now we should be able to delete our Azure Data Factory. I hope so. Still, I'm not too sure. So I'm gonna go back here, and I'm gonna delete. So here, I'm gonna copy, and then paste here, and try to delete. So this time, I'm not getting error here. Looks like it's working. Okay. So if I go home to the home and uh, if I go to the Azure Data Factory, see, it's deleted now. Oh, that's great, but uh, uh, lesson to learn. And now I can go for back and say like, oh, I don't need this uh, uh, managed entity here because uh, I don't need to have it here. So I'm gonna drop this guy as it is and I'm going to delete, yes. And then uh, if I don't need to use uh, my key vault anymore, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, delete the key vault as well. So. After that, once this is a managed entity is dropped, I'm gonna drop the key vault. So steps to remember, never drop your key vault first, okay? So why if you have used a user managed identity, okay? Okay, that's, uh, and uh, then uh, what it will do, uh, is then it's gonna get you in a situation where I, uh, I was, uh, okay? In this case, uh, what's the flow? You do your correct flow is the correct flow, okay? Of deleting. Drop ADF first, uh, add your data factory, then uh, drop managed user manager entity. And then uh, you will drop uh, Evolved. that's uh, the right way to do it okay but in in this case uh, if you are like me if you will go to the your resource group and you will say oh I want to delete everything and uh, you totally forgot like oh you have used a user managed uh, identity uh, in your Azure Data Factory for the encryption and all that and you have used the key vault uh, to save the key then uh, you might be in trouble you might be lucky maybe uh, it will uh, drop uh, the Azure Data Factory first and then drop other uh, resources which are used but in my case it did not uh, do it so I dropped the uh, managed identity user identity first then it dropped the key vault and then it when it tried to delete the Azure Data Factory it started complaining about that so I was not able to drop my Azure Data Factory. So that's what you need to remember. So in this case, now I don't need these key vaults anymore. So I can go ahead and drop both of them. Finally, our uh, uh, key vaults has been deleted and uh, then we are all good. If I refresh, I should be fine. And now they, those key vaults should be not there. So you can see everything has been deleted. So that's weird. So just uh, pay attention to it. Do not uh, try to delete uh, the user manager entity first and the key vault first. And uh, uh, then uh, you try for uh, ADF. Uh, that's uh, that's going to give you a lot of uh, trouble. Um, drop your ADF first uh, and then uh, come back and uh, drop all these uh, other uh, resources. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.